Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss about HIV treatment fatigue. HIV treatment fatigue is real, especially for people who have been taking HIV treatment for a long time, like me. We have been discussing the how it is important to stay on HIV treatment and to maintain a viral suppression. However, the more, the longer we take HIV treatment, the more we feel really tired to take HIV treatment. My name is Tuishim Claire Casamagera. I am one of the oldest people born with HIV. I have been taking HIV treatment over 20 years. Speaking about, speaking about HIV treatment fatigue, it's not new for me. This is a lifetime struggle. Here are my five tips on how to overcome HIV treatment fatigue. Tip number one, let us identify the reason why you're having uh, HIV treatment fatigue. What is causing your fatigue? Maybe there's much happening in your life. There's a new baby. You're breaking up with, with, with your boyfriend. Or you lost your job. Someone lost his job. Or you lost somebody you love. So many stuff happening in our lives can make us not stay on top of HIV treatment. So we have to know what is happening in our lives. It can also be depression. And we may be depressed, we may have some mental health care needs, or you may be dealing with this, this uh, uh, side effects. Side effects are real. If you're watching this, consider watching my other video where I share how I beat nausea as it's one of the side effects I got from my medication. It may be stigma and discrimination. You want to belong. You don't want to be alienated by taking medication. Maybe you are a student or you have a roommate. You don't have a place to, to keep your medication. Maybe your medication reminds you that you are living with a chronic condition. Whatever it is, sit down, take a pen and a paper, and write down the root cause of your HIV treatment fatigue. Once you have a list of what is causing your HIV treatment, your, the fatigue, consider consulting your healthcare provider and discuss each root cause. There's no treatment that fits all. It's not one size fits all. You may be able to work with your healthcare provider and find something that will be good for you. And also, Consider looking for mental health care needs. Check out if you can get a, a therapist or a counseling. Tip number three, seek some community support. If I talk about community, I talk about friends, family, and other people living with HIV. I have seen many people dying because they have been living the big secret by themselves. This is the time where you find a body. You find a friend or a family member you trust and you share your big secret. You take baby steps to find support. Living with HIV is not something you can manage by yourself. You will need other people no matter what no matter how strong you are no matter how rich you are you will always need people so get some 
of community support and consider joining a support group where you will be meeting other people living with HIV and you will learn from them, you will share a story with them. That's tip tip number number four. When you are living with other people living with HIV, you will discuss where you address privacy. You will discuss where, how to disclose, how to, how to keep your privacy, how to tell who you want to tell. You will never know without reaching to other people. There are support groups online of people living with HIV and there are support groups in the community. Consider looking for community support that's tip number three and tip number four keep a positive mindset if you are taking your your medication and you are like i don't know if this is gonna work oh my god always when you are taking your meds consider that these medication are going to make you feel good they are going to work if you are a Christian and if you pray, if you are a believer or a spiritual person, pray every time you take your mates so they work, so they make you healthy. Have a positive mindset. Believe they will work because if you are, you don't trust your, the medication, they will not work. And you get tired of taking your meds. But if you are keeping a positive mindset about your meds, you will be able to stay on top of your HIV medication. Tip number five, remove all barriers. All limitation, remove, preventing you from taking medication. Here, I'm talking about personal barriers. I'm not talking about systematic and structural barriers those are beyond our reach but there are some barriers for instance put some of your pills in your purse and put other pills in your bathroom and other pills in the kitchen and in the bedroom this is how I do it because if I'm already in bed upstairs in the master bedroom I'm not willing to come downstairs to take meds, so I have them upstairs, I have them in the bathroom, I have them in the kitchen, so I can, I cannot have an excuse of, of, of why not I'm not taking my HIV medication. Also consider having some soft drinks or water, for me I use water. Consider eating before even thinking about taking medication. These are strong medication. So, oh, no, I'm, not, I'm so hungry. My stomach is feeling bad. Always work to minimize barriers that will prevent you from taking your HIV medication. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, I will see you in the next video on how I beat nausea. Bye.